Hello, welcome to this 3ds Max tutorial on grouping and what we're going to be doing here is just looking at some of the different ways you can group and um, using the selection group tool and also the um, normal group um, where you actually combine an object together to make one object. So first of all what we're going to do is we're going to look at the selection group tool and this actually isn't a group at all. What we're going to do is we're going to select this um, named selection set and we're going to create a new set and I'm going to call this chair. This is a chair from our earlier tutorial by the way. All you do now is you select all of the bits together. Let me carry on that. That happens when I'm recording. And add the selected objects. And now you'll see here that all the objects which made up that chair, which really should have their own names, but um, they all are now selectable from up here. So if I was working on in a work area and I just press chair, the chair becomes selected as one object. However, all the parts are still separate and that's very important because that's quite different from the other grouping methods. Um, so that's if you have a lot of objects that you're working on and perhaps you could have like you know a chair, a table and something else and you want them all to be um, selectable as one area that's one way of doing it. Um, if now we look at the other grouping which is probably a more standard way of grouping an object um, if you select all the objects or you could now use your um, select name selection here up here and you go to group and group and we'll call this chair that now becomes one solid object so now I can move it around as one complete object and when I select it the whole thing becomes selected if you wanted to edit some of this maybe make the chair's legs um, chrome or wood and this bit here the seat leather or something to edit that you'd have to go to group and ungroup and then all the objects would become separate again and in fact I just move something there let's take that back control and Z um, and then what you do is you'd select it all again regroup it and call it chair and then you'd be able to work with it again now say I wanted to add an object to this group what I could do is pull out a cylinder here and this cylinder could be anything I'm going to group it to that make sure the cylinder or whatever it is you want to group is selected and if I just press attach and then click on the object it now becomes grouped. So that is now part of the same group. And I can move it along the X, Y, and Z and manipulate them all together. If I want to detach that object or another object from this, what you do is you go to group, you open up the group, select the object you want to detach, detach it, and then you select the grouped area again, and you close the group and now this object is back to being as it was and this object is being as it was okay so now we're going to look at two other options for ungrouping um, we're going to look at the difference between ungroup and explode um, now the chair here is one group and what I'm going to do is make another group here of two cylinders and if I select those and let's group them and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything and group that as well so this could be perhaps a table and chairs all around together and now if I move them they move as a group but if I go to group and ungroup now I have both separate groups which I can move together so ungrouping almost goes back one layer of grouping so if I've got a group here and a group there and I group that together it'll unseparate those two groups together um, if I regroup those again and then I use explode explode detaches everything so every object within inside those groups now becomes its own little um, back to its primitive state um, so that's basically the essence of um, grouping uh, in 3ds Max, and that's um, the end of that tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.